Okay guys, we are in the 2023 Subaru WRX GT and it's time to take it on a drive. Now, if you guys haven't already checked out my full review video, definitely go give that a look so we go a little bit more in depth with everything going on here. But I'm gonna take you guys on a quick little exterior tour. This one's painted in ignition red over here. So it's definitely a bright and shouty color. Of course, since we are in the GT model, we've got these 18 inch grayed out wheels. I think they're a little bit lighter. I think it looks really good in this color actually still not a huge fan of all the cladding i wish we had the sports grill this is kind of like the grayed out grill finish not my favorite color combination full led lights on the gt of course you can only get the subaru performance transmission really sculpted body line subaru has been doing i still think it looks cool ish if you kind of ignore it like i said all those body cladding bits um, this is essentially the engine out of the Ascent, out of the Outback XT, the Legacy XT, but it has been very much more tuned to kind of like a performance um, aspect. It's making around 271 horsepower and around 258 pound-feet of torque. Again, this one is paired to the um, Super Performance Transmission, which is their kind of high-torque performance continuously variable transmission, so there's no physical real gears in there kind of shifting throughout. Um, you can, of course, get this paired with the six-speed manual, and if you've ever been under a Subaru hood, things have not changed too much where they are placed for pretty much forever you know the oil the oil filter's always really been up here same as the engine oil um where you can drop it in you have your dipstick over here so those are just some things you may need to look at when you're driving a subaru and of course we have our big nice intercooler right on top with the air going directly on top of it from the hood scoop so you can really see how that works and it's kind of like this suction cup over here to kind of keep some stuff out and you do have uh, some dirt and stuff getting caught in there because it is really open to the air and of course water and things can drain out of it if it's need to Subaru's not stupid and they've been building this for years so it's been designed to that and this looks like an ECU you can kind of see over here you can see there's a lot more kind of like um, body molding and welding stuff that's kind of gone on up here to make this chassis more rigid than before so we have that Subaru um, global architecture underneath this vehicle and as you can see where the engine is placed, so we have our um, top of our um, suspension right all the way back here, and that engine's pretty much completely in front of the front axle. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's completely in front of where the front axle kind of lies. So our line right there, yeah. So this is a very front heavy car. Now the vehicle itself only weighs around 34-ish, 100 pounds, which is pretty light actually for modern vehicles. So it is still pretty nimble, um, but you know, let's get behind the wheel of this thing. I'll show you how it drives. Actually, huge thanks to Subaru for putting these um, gas struts here not having a manual um hood opening hood holder okay guys inside now and like I said, if you haven't joined me on my full review video, we do have this gear selector right here for your um, super performance transmission, which is a CVT that's been strengthened for high torque applications as well as some um, more kind of durability. It has its own cooler actually connected to it, so it doesn't overheat. Um, you have the ability to pop it into pure manual mode. You have paddle shifters over here whole bunch of dry modes over here so we have comfort normal sport sport plus and my favorite is individual which you can access with this little star button here you can control everything from the power unit to the steering to the suspension because there's an adaptive suspension which is exclusive to the gt um all-wheel drive eyesight climate control all that stuff you also have um, these nice Recaro seats, which look and feel premium, a little bit um, uncomfortable for my um, particular body shape. I, I'm not sure who's supposed to really sit in, in these, like really skinny people, I guess, but um, these are really aggressive bolsters and they're not really adjustable. So if you got the GT, you are stuck with these seats. Anyways, let's take this thing on a drive. Also want a quick note, you have three traction settings. So fully on, a track traction, and you can push it, hold, and it'll turn it completely off. I guess if you're in a standstill, it usually turns it off. But um, I like all these different kind of adaptive, different systems Subaru has added on this GT model. We are in my individual mode right now. I'm gonna put it into Sport Plus for you guys. And you'll see how bumpy it may get. We'll pop it into manual mode as well. And so I have been living with this WRX GT for the past week now. And I've definitely come to grow on it a little bit more. Now, of course, Subaru did not give me the six-speed manual, which you can get with this vehicle. You are stuck with this um, G well, we are stuck with this um, Subaru Performance Transmission, that, which is the CVT. And you know what? 
it's actually really, really good. If you can't drive a manual, if you don't want to drive a manual and you want to just still have the WRX, this is a fantastic option. I'm not going to like fret you for it. It works well and it never works like a normal CVT does. So even if I put it down into like comfort mode, slow down a bit and you kind of like put on the gas, it's going to shift almost like a real gearbox. Of course it went a little bit hard there so it took a little bit but it shifts it doesn't just like hold it at one um, long gear and sit there forever like a normal cvt um, and like i said it has its own cooler on it so it doesn't kind of overheat which is fantastic and it it may not be the most engaging experience that you're going to get with the manual it is still really good like I, i'm not going to lie about that and if you're kind of rowing through gears yourself They're fast, <laughs> it's really, really snappy actually. Um, and in manual mode, it really is manual mode. So in that aspect, they have introduced that fun in there by kind of allowing you to play with these gears. And the real fun part with the WRX is that you can just take it off road. <laughs> and it is really fun still it's you know it still has those rally car roots now i love the fact that you have this adaptive suspension system on here as it allows you to go on these harsher more off-road or kind of off-road style settings and have a comfort suspension it really is too balancing in sport plus or in the sport plus um, suspension setting but this thing still is and has those roots. Now, another a wonderful highlight of this chassis is this steering rack. It is so precise and so twitchy and quick. And this in the Sport Plus setting right now, you can put it in comfort setting and it's still responsive and quick. It just doesn't have that additional artificial kind of like heft to it going on there um, that when you put it in this more aggressive setting that it has. Um, and it's not a bad thing either. It doesn't feel video gamey. There is actually some feel going on in there too. It's not the most responsive in terms of like feel, but in, in terms of like chassis responsiveness, it is a really good steering rack and it feels fantastic around sharp corners and stuff, which I will try to get to you in a little bit. Now, one thing I will note is that NVH in here is not good. So NVH is noise, vibration, or harshness. It's still built on like con the general Subaru Global Platform Impreza style platform if you want to think of it like that and there's not a lot of sound deadening in here the door panels are strong but very thin um, same goes with the windows no kind of acoustic glass or anything like that so in that aspect it's definitely a little loud in the cabin even on the highway you can hear the tire noise you hear road noise you hear wind noise and that's just how the WRX has kind of always been and to kind of counter that I wish they had a stronger sounding exhaust and unfortunately that's just not here um, even in kind of like the loudest setting I'm not even sure if the exhaust is fully adjustable so in like even Sport Plus you don't really hear it too much and if anything I'll hear a little bit more of like the, the gearbox whine at lower speeds versus exhaust and I wish it was a little bit louder. You can opt for a super performance exhaust system that kind can kind of like make it a little bit louder for you, but it's still not the most aggressive thing. Okay. And this is the beauty of the WRX. You can do all these different <laughs> road conditions. I'll put it back in the Sport Plus for you guys. And I think the wonderful part is that it does handle both well on and off on gravel, on snow, and all those different conditions, especially with how this um, whole powertrain set up. So it is sending a lot more power to the rear than your typical Subaru um, all-wheel drive system will be, and specifically in Sport Plus mode. It does have a sort of a brake torque vectoring system on it as well, and you notice it in the corners too. And it's interesting, like even in the Sport Plus mode, the shifts, even though they're not like going through real gears they feel real like you kind of get like a whole kind of car moves almost as if you're in like an early kind of style of dual clutch and i've heard a lot of people kind of compare this super performance transmission to almost an early earlier kind of dual clutch and like a hot hatch and just going through these corners it is so sharp it's really incredible and it handles itself so well and we're in the um more aggressive damper setting right now and even in the comfort um damper setting which i can pop into so quickly with these um different drive modes it still has really nice rigidity and chassis control going on here 
and coming out of corners. It's quick. And that's the beauty of Subaru's kind of symmetrical all-wheel drive system is it's able to kind of punch you out of those corners really, really strong. Okay, guys, and getting on the highway too <laughs> is where it really can be fun as well. And Sport Plus mode. So it definitely has pickup and go as well. Wow, that is a lot of power. And it doesn't like throw you back into your seat kind of power, but it's definitely fun enough. And there are like a whole bunch of little like exhaust burbles and things here and there throughout your dual driving experience. But I think the beauty of having the super performance transmission at least, is not only that you get to play with these paddles and these gears, You, can, you definitely can. Um, the other fun thing is that you can pop it into like this comfortable mode, turn eyesight on, and you have a driving assist system. Now, now that we're on the highway though, you may be able to hear kind of that droning I was talking about. And this happens at a few different levels of the RPM gauge. We're at around 3000 RPM. I can kind of hear that drone going on in and out of it. It depends where you are. Um, and like I said, it's something you're gonna have to deal with. Even if you put a more aggressive exhaust, I think that's probably gonna get a little bit louder too. Um, nonetheless though, Subaru's eyesight system works pretty, pretty well actually. Um, it has steering assist, so we, and I love the quick access buttons you have right on the steering wheel to turn those on and off. Your steering assist button right here. You have your adaptive um, cruise button right on top of that. And you can adjust your speed really easily from these little toggles right here and you can adjust your following distance really easily as well. And you actually have a kind of like this little uh, LED lights up in the dash. There's no kind of heads up display, but the LED lights will actually light green if there's a car in front of you, indicating that it knows it's following it, which is kind of cool. See those lights flashing to keep your hands on the wheel. And it's not a touch system, it is a force, so you do have to put some force on the wheel for it to kind of recognize that you are still driving. Well guys, this is my week with the Subaru WRX GT and while I will say this gearbox is pretty good, it is a good gearbox for what it is, and I cannot deny that. I definitely think the manual is more fun, and it's again not saying do not buy this model, but if you do want the real, true, as true WRX experience you can get in 2023, you're still gonna have to go with the manual. Nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching yet another video from All Car News, and as always, stay tuned for a lot more coming soon.